Hi there Star Wars Collectors and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video. So just a quick video today to bring you the information on the two Bring Home the Galaxy reveals for the Vintage Collection. And even though they are both repaints, they are both welcome additions to the line. So sit back as I go through the high res images, give you my thoughts and also let you know the all important pre-order info. All right, so first up, we have Boba Fett painted in his original Kenner colors. Now, I have to say that I absolutely love the look of this figure. This one looks incredible. What a release this one is. We have the Return of the Jedi Boba Fett sculpt on the original card art with the Star Wars chase and the figure painted just like he was from the early 80s. Absolutely amazing. What is there not to like about this one? Now, of course, we have had something similar in the past in the Vintage Collection. We had the rocket firing Boba Fett mail away figure. But of course, that figure was actually a recreation of that 80s Kenner figure, the 5 POA version, something that they've now recreated in the Retro Collection. This release is more reminiscent of the Black Series version that ended up being a convention exclusive. So you've got a highly articulated figure on a classic card back in the classic colors truly awesome now this version is going to be available exclusively to target and will be available for pre-order tomorrow the 9th of november at 1 p.m eastern standard time so be sure to be ready for this one because i imagine this one's going to be pretty popular and may sell out pretty quickly if you're in the uk i would imagine that most online stores like star action figures other fan channel stores will have them as well that's the hope anyway at the moment, they don't look like they're going to be a Hasbro Pulse exclusive or anything like that. Now, a few weeks ago, one of the questions that I had on Ask Boss Bounty was, do I think that they will reuse the Return of the Jedi Fett mold to make another Boba Fett? And my answer was yes. And, you know, this one is a classic for them to do. Of course, we've had them use it already. They used it for the droids Boba Fett, and now they're using it for the Kenner Colors, and I'm pretty sure they won't stop there you know this is Boba Fett we're talking about highly popular character they've got that new sculpt they're not going to waste it so I'd imagine in the future that we'll see them use it in other ways however saying that this is probably the best one that they could do for me this is the new Fett sculpt painted in the classic Kenner colors I mean what more could you want next up we have Ark Commander Colt now this comes straight after the Ark Commander Havoc that they revealed a couple of weeks ago of course, it's using exactly the same sculpt. We've had this one a few times now. This is the exact same sculpt that they've used for the Ark Troopers, Jesse, Fives, and Echo. And also we've had it used in the gaming greats with those Battlefront 2 figures. But I'm not gonna complain because I do actually really like this sculpt. It's a, it's a decent sculpt for the Ark Troopers. And there you can see that they've painted him obviously with the Ark Commander Colt color scheme. He looks great. Um, what I really like about this figure is the head sculpt. This is a different head again, I think. I don't think they've used this head before. And to me, if they were to give this guy a yellow painted hairstyle, I think we've got ourselves a pretty good Captain Rex head right there. So maybe they'll use that in the future. Now, in terms of this figure, this is what it says on the press release. It says, Colt served in the Rancor Battalion with Ark Commander Havoc and helped manage cadet training on the World Camino. Colt protected... Tipoka City during an attack on Camino by assassin Asajj Ventress, where he faced Grievous and eventually Ventress herself. The figure features premium detail and design across product and packaging, inspired by the original Kenner line. Now, this one is going to be available for pre order once again tomorrow on the 9th of November, 1 pm Eastern Standard Time, and it's going to be exclusively to walmart which <laughs> obviously that's not going to be something that you guys in the us are going to want to hear once again i'm pretty sure this one will be available in the uk on all the usual fan channels so there you go then guys that's the two reveals this week for bring home the galaxy they were revealed on starwars.com let me know your thoughts in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and we shall see you on the next one